warm greetings to you i am pearl john from logos management and i am delighted that you join me week after week on this journey of demystifying the heroes of world and drawing insights from their lives last week we continued on the life of nehemiah part 5 and we referenced the theme overcoming the opposition and we spoke of three key learnings one overcome the opposition through faith overcome the opposition through prayer and overcome the opposition through unity this week we focus on the theme preserve in the face of adversity preserve in the face of adversity for our reference i'd like to focus on nehemiah chapter 4 verses 11 to 21 as believers we are called to be faithful and persevere in the face of adversity in nehemiah's time he was faced with opposition and ridicule as he worked to rebuild the walls around jerusalem In Nehemiah chapter 4 verses 11 to 21 we see how Nehemiah and his team persevered in the face of adversity and what I'd like to do is to see how we can apply their example to our lives today follow with me for the for three key learnings in this context one trust in God's protection trust in God's protection Nehemiah's team faced a significant threat from their enemies who were planning to attack them. However, Nehemiah did not give in to the fear and despair, but instead he trusted in God's protection. Threats and attacks are real and they shall come. But as believers, we are required to trust in God's protection when we face adversity. Remember Matthew chapter 28 and 20 we can trust that he is with us always and we have his promise in Deuteronomy chapter 31 and 6 that he will never leave us nor forsake us In Psalms 46 and 1 you know we can take comfort in the fact that he is our refuge and strength in times of trouble The phrasing of this word tells us that there will be trouble he does not promise a trouble free life you and i will experience trouble but when you go through those troubles he will ensure that he provides refuge and strength you know i love this example the life of apostle paul we read in acts chapter 28 verses 1 to 6 when he was shipwrecked on the island of malta he trusted in god's protection and was unharmed by the venomous snake you know what the learning is the self same issue meant to destroy you he will convert that to raise you up as a model as he did with paul isn't that wonderful secondly perseverance through prayer and action perseverance through prayer and action nehemiah's team did not sit back and wait for their enemies to attack them instead they took action to defend themselves and the wall that they were building was something that they gave their attention fully to they also persevered through prayer calling out to god for strength and protection as believers we must also persevere through prayer and action we cannot simply wait we must also take action ourselves however we must also recognize that our own efforts are not enough and we ought to call out to god for strength and protection we find an example of this in apostle peter in acts chapter 12 verses 5 to 11 when he was imprisoned by herod the church prayed for his release and god answered their prayers and an angel freed peter from his chains and thirdly he encouraged each other to persevere nehemiah's team faced a difficult and a dangerous situation but they encouraged each other to persevere they reminded each other of the importance of their mission and the need to keep working on the wall As believers we are called to encourage each other to persevere through difficult times. We ought to support each other and remind each other of the importance of our mission as believers. 
we should build each other up and help each other to stay focused on God's plan for our lives. You find Apostle Paul, he wrote letters of encouragement to the churches that he had established, reminding them to persevere in their faith and encouraging them to support each other. You find that in Colossians chapter 2 verses 2 and 3 and 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 11. We see the power of perseverance in the face of adversity in Nehemiah 4, 11 to 21. Nehemiah and his team trusted in God's protection, persevered through prayer and action, and encouraged each other to persevere. As believers, we can apply these lessons to our lives, trusting in God's protection, persevering through prayer and action, and encouraging each other to persevere. May we be inspired by Nehemiah's example and find strength in the Lord as we persevere through the challenges that we encounter. This is Pearl John signing off The Other 167. Thank you for watching The Other 167. Let me urge you to share this with your friends and neighbors and encourage them to be blessed as well. Have a great day and a greater weekend. See you next week.